what is up boys girls men women aliens unicorns the works i have a message for mr brock lesnar all right so last night was sunday it is now monday i don't even know what the date is that's how finagled i am from today I'm sure you don't give a shit though, because it's all about you. It's all about you. Fuck everybody else. It's all about Lesnar. Big time Lesnar. Not in everyone else's eyes. Alright. I don't even know what the date is. Seriously. What, what, what? I think it's the 20th. It might be. It's probably. Yeah, it is the 20th. Yeah, it is. So yesterday was the 19th of uh, May 19th, 2019, and I'm doing this video on May 20th, 2019, and there's a message to Brock Lesnar. I already said that, I know, but uh, yeah, just hear me out real quick. Um, uh, you are less than part-timer. You're not even a part-timer. You're less than that. To me right now, I'm looking at it this way. I liked it better when you first came into the WWE. Oh, so scary. Oh, this, that, the other. Oh, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar. Everything is Brock Lesnar. Great. Next big thing. Dun, 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 dun. I don't give a flying shit. I don't care. Honestly, I don't. You are so lucky that I don't have the training. I don't have the experience. And I don't have... And matter of fact, you're lucky I'm not in the WWE in general. I don't give a shit who you are. Ever since you left WWE the first time, you became this arrogant, sorry son of a bitch. You piece of ass dust. You're nobody. You're nobody. You're trying to remain relevant so you can line your pockets with the money of the people that you don't care about. I don't care about the title. Then why the, then why the hell are you in there? Why are you there? Do you, you, you're nothing. You are nothing. You are less than part-timer. Cena is a better worker than you in the WWE. And he, he has not been there for how long? That's another thing. Cena, you became the very, the very thing you always made fun of. Oh, I'm here. I've been here. Now where are you, huh? You're doing a kid's show. How to, how to teach... How do, what, what, what's it called? Do you know more than a fifth grader? I know something and you're not there. And now Lesnar's back. So what are you going to do about it? You're probably going to stay somewhere else and nice and all by yourself and trying to find a new, a new girl to write rules down for and a contract for. Get the hell out of town. Now you, Lesnar. If it wasn't for the fact that A, I'm not over there and B... You know, I don't have the experience. I don't have any training. I'm not, you know, I don't know how the ring works. I don't know anything about anything. All right. But I am researching it online and doing what I can, how I can, what I got. And if you're still around, when I just so happen to show up, if I'm lucky enough to make it there, there is no, oh, you can't because I don't care. I'll come after you. Weapon in hand. Oh, you're too much of a coward. You got to use a weapon. Kiss my ass. You know, MMA, you know, this, that, the other, you know, all the thing. That's another thing. Samoa Joe had you. You're dead. You were, you were as dead as dead can get. Walking out of the ring, coughing, wheezing, gasping for air like a weak piece of shit. Because that's what you are. You, hey, who, hey. And you're walking over there, looking more red than a tomato in the hot summer sun. You're walking. You turn around and you smile. You know why you don't stay over there? Because you know, if he'd have gotten his hands on you, he'd have choked your, your sorry ass out. I'm with Joe. Daniel Bryan by far was my favorite when he stomped the shit out of your face. He stomped the shit out of you so bad that you could read the brand that his shoes were off your sorry face. For the record, Atomics. You ain't a damn thing. You know, I'd be able to grab two kendo sticks. Oh, he blocked one. Wham! I wouldn't hit you in the stomach. Not the back. Right here, right between the fucking eyes. 
You continuously keep ruining pay-per-views. Why? Why are you back here? Why don't you go back to where you came from, which was the UFC? Oh, you failed the piss test. That's why. Now Dana White is suing your sorry ass because you take drugs to keep yourself up and ready. Your wife is older than you. I thought she'd be smarter. I always, I always knew that, you know, somehow I was like, mm, not all up there, but now she's with you and now my respect for went from here to here. That's fine because she's probably blowing Vince and doing you favors. It's not that you can't deal with people. You don't want to hear what people got to say about you. You don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear the fact that you're a less than part-timer. You come through stealing people's jobs. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm not there, I don't have the training, the experience, the knowledge, nothing. If I'd have been in that match and I was able to move, I'd find me something and wait for your sorry piece of ass dust looking self to get off that ladder so that I may annihilate you. Hell, I'll hit you in the head, the back, the stomach, the legs, everything. I'll make you sorry you even came back. That's what I would have done. They could find me all they want. I don't care. You got the money? Do it. That's what I think about it. That's what I know. Orton, Orton stayed there and he looked at you because he wasn't happy that your sorry piece of ass dust ass was back. Nobody was. You screwed. You actually know you robbed Ali of his opportunity, something that he earned and you did not. You weren't even qualified in the match. You, you, you. You're a nobody as far as I'm concerned. Call this a promo, call it a call out, call it what you will. And I'm gonna say it like I said it before. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm not there and I don't have the years under my belt, you you wouldn't even be walking today. I'd have busted you so bad, I would make your UFC fights look like a joke. I would make you wanna fight. I'd rather go against St. Pierre. He seems like an easier fight. Because me with a weapon in my hands. See, first of all, people don't know what I'm capable of. You don't know me. I barely know your stupid ass. So what would happen is I grab me a kendo stick and I swing at Heyman if he gets involved. ECW better be able to take a hit or two. And that's, then it's your turn. Because you got to get off of there. Either that or I push your sorry ass off the ladder. I don't give a shit where you land. I hope you land cranium first onto a ladder. And you're not able to feel anything from the neck down. <laughs> Guess who's back? Some less than part-timer who's going to grab at another title and make it worthless again. That's who's back. Rest assured, and I'm making this a life mission. If I make it. If I make it and you're still around, I'm calling your sorry ass out. And we're going to have something. And Heyman's going to have to stay in the back because it's going to be you and me. That's the only two people that's going to matter in there. I don't have the experience. I don't have nothing. You believe me when I tell you. I'll give my paycheck away to whoever's willing to come through and, and deal with business. I don't care who it is. I'll have the people destroy you. Then I'll come in and do like everyone else has always wanted to do to you. With the point of the elbow, wham, right across it, right here, right here. And I'll leave a disgusting scar so you remember who I am. Hell, I'll even learn to do the Kimura so I can snap both your arms. Try me. You better hope I don't make it there. And if I do, you better hope and pray that you're, that you're long gone. You're not going to want to get in the ring with me. You see, all it takes is one thing. 
And if that had been me on that ladder that you pushed off tonight, which is Monday Night Raw, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to ignore the shit out of your segment. Heyman is the mouthpiece for you because you can't talk. Your voice when you scream, you sound like a broken squeaky toy. <gasps> Buddy, I would hurt you so bad, you wouldn't even want to be back in the WWE because every time you look at me, you rem you remember the pain that you were in. That's what's going to end up happening. You better hope it doesn't. Hope and pray that it doesn't. Get on your knees like your wife in front of Vince. And start praying. Oh, please. Don't let this guy come to WWE. He's scary. I know you don't fear me now. But you get in the ring with me and you figure out, oh, this guy's nothing to mess with. See, because I don't look strong. That's where people piss me off because they hit me. They better knock me out cold. And I'm talking hours out. Because if I get back up, that's the end, buddy. You better start hauling ass. You better run faster than 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 Stephanie McMahon did when she one, two, three, Stone Cold Steve Austin out to William Regal. You better run. I did not even run. You better sprint. Oh, he's so scary, huh? Orton was right. It only takes one RKO to get the to get the to, to Starley to, to what is it? To Viperville? One. Oh, it took. And you know what he said? He said, no enhancement needed. That must have pissed you off a hell of a way. Why do you think there's garbage cans around? You gotta be kidding me! You see, but it only take it it only takes one knee to the face to get to not Suplex City. Oh no, Starling City. I I spray painted over your stupid sign and I made it my own. Starling City, to hell with Suplex City. You can throw me as many times as you want. You can throw me one time, I'll get up. Two times, I'll get up. Three times, I'll get up. Four times, I'll get up. Five, six, seven, ten, twenty, thirty times. And I'll keep getting back up. I don't care what the rest are on my body. I'll get up and I'll beat your sorry ass. You thought Joe was bad? Buddy, wait till you get a load of me. Less than part time and sorry piece of so you you stupid dumbass. Less than part time and sorry piece of ass dust. That's what bothers me. My mission to make it there and make him regret doing everything that he's done. In that, in you ruined so many pay per views. Now I'm gonna make you pay for that. I'm the man of the people, and I've make I've made it a life mission that if you're still there. I'm beating you. And I'm not gonna, hey, no, you're gonna get the hands. Braun Strowman, Joe, Daniel. Huh? You haven't faced Shinsuke Nakamura. I wonder why, because you know he'll beat your sorry ass if they let him loose. Use the strong style. Oh, you know he will. AJ could have destroyed you. Finn Balor had your ass. Then the Kimura lock, yeah, yeah. You don't give a shit of people. You don't give a shit about people. I don't give a shit about you. Be warned. I'm on my way.